Hi, we're here at American Top Team with uh, Stephanie Gumars, and uh, we wanted to get to know her a little bit. Um, Y'all can check out the videos of her and Sam, and uh, we got a uh, video where she's top 10 on the best, what is it, best knockout? Yeah, best knockout on uh, Bellator. It on was Bellator. like 49 seconds, you guys gotta check out. Oh yeah, we got it in this article, so check it out. Yeah. Nice, nice knee. Alright. <laughs> so, uh, what's your record, Stephanie? Well, my record, you can say like, whoa. It's one and one. One I lost one time because um, it was my first professional fight, and I lost uh, against Nana Berto. He got three and zero at that fight, and uh, I was just beginning. But that's not the point. Uh, I lost by decision, you know, three five minute rounds, and then uh, they gave points to her. Of course, I was in her house and stuff, so it's okay. We're gonna match again, and then um, we're gonna take this clear. Okay, good. Do you have any plans when that matchup will be? Or? I don't know. People want this year, but I, I can bet next year, definitely. If she accepts, of course. You right never know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, um, who are they looking at? You said you might be in the next Bellator coming in yes. October? Yes, I'll probably be in uh, October 1, the 28th, which is the final. I, I fought the, the first season, the finals. So uh, I look forward to be fighting there again, and then uh, they're just waiting for me. And then um, I have no idea of the, the opponent that I'm gonna get, but I mean I don't pick fights, so for me it's anyone that who comes they put against me, I'll fight them. So it's okay. I just look for a good person and then uh, to make a good match. That's it. Cool. When did you start training? Um, from wrestling, from like your whole entire background. What's your background? Well, um, I started, I, I didn't even start in, at wrestling. I started at um, Muay Thai when I was 14. So um, I'm pretty much a stand up person, you know. But um, then I fell in love with wrestling, of course. Wrestling always been my, my biggest thing, like, whoa, I want to do that. And then, um, so I started doing Muay Thai through the years and stuff. I got my belts and everything. I became a instructor in Brazil, back in Brazil, because I'm Brazilian. <laughs> so, uh, and then I came here with just a little bit of wrestling. So here I developed my wrestling. And nowadays I represent Brazil and uh, also champion of the state, whatever. Everything wrestling that, you know, it's about it. In Brazil, I. I just want because I love it. It's my passion. And then, um, so yeah, I started with 14 and then I started doing MMA for real. Whenever my ex trainer came to me, he saw me training and fighting, and he's like, whoa, this girl has some something else. And then he came to me and asked if I wanted to um, fight professionally. I said, yeah. And here in the United States. So I said, yeah, perfect. You know, that was my, my biggest goal. So. Uh, he called me, he started training, and after 11 months training, MMA, first time, I never like hit the ground, I was like, whoa! So, um, after that, like 11 months, um, we pick a fight, which was against Nana Berto, and then that's what it is. I'm, since, I'm here since then. Cool. How did, how did you come to come to American Top Team? Did your trainer introduce you to them? Or? No, it was not it. Um, I used to live in Tampa, so for this first fight, Jessica and Jen, Jessica Aguilar, she went there to make the... She was commentating with Jen, and then I just met them, because it's no, you know, it's like the rules, you, you met everybody and stuff. So they were like doing something, and then they just like, well, this girl is nice, that's what they said. This girl is nice, let's meet, let's meet her. So they come to talk to me, they came to talk to me, and then... Um, made friends. Since that day, you know, we never stopped talking and uh, she said, you know what, after she seen me like fighting the next day, she told me, you know what, we need like girls like you at ATT to represent them, we don't have 145, so what do you think about going there and training for real, you know, like being part of the team, I was like, that's perfect, that's all I wanted. Back in Brazil, was like, whoa, American Top Team, that's awesome. I would never guess that I would be here, like representing them. You know, it's uh, it's a big thing for me. So um, it's part of the, the dream. So what did I do? I joined the team after a couple months after my loss, of course, and then um, everything changed. 
Uh, well, how long do you um, expect your career, you know, uh, what are your goals in your career, and how long do you expect to be in the sport and fighting in the game? Well, you know, it's, um, it's a tough sport, you know, it's a tough profession, uh, but I, I don't know, I have no, like, dates or years. To be honest, we always get injured. We gotta deal with it. So um, I don't know. In the probably next ten years, I'll be fighting and stuff. If got if got once, of course. And then um, my goal is to be the, the champ, the number one. That's for sure. You know, not only in wrestling because I'm I'm um, I'm gonna compete for the do the tryouts for the Olympics in 2016, but. Um, in MMA, I want to get the belt, that's for sure. I want the belt like, to be mine and bring it to, the, to my house, which is ATT. And then, um, you know, I want to be the first one. I want to fight. I want to make good matches, like good shows for the, the crowd and stuff. So it's pretty much it. I want to show my, my what I, I'm, I'm doing that every day, you know. I want to show it all. So that's it. That's what I want. I want the, the top. Right on. What other goals besides uh, sports and working out and things? Whatever life goals do you have for your future? Well, you know, I'm very into like helping people and stuff. So, whenever things and with uh, ATT, we can do like charity. I love doing that. And that's that's become like growing and growing inside of me and becoming my passion. I used to do that in Brazil a lot. And uh, you know, just helping people and also uh, kids. That's the most important thing, you know, teaching them, um, doing programs and teaching them like discipline and everything that mixed martial arts gotta be. It's not something aggressive or anything else. It's something like good, you know. So I've been like watching and taking care of this part mostly. But um, yeah, once uh, like I did an interview someday and then uh, for Fight Magazine. And then I said I wanted to be uh, from army or something, become part of them, and then um, they didn't accept for some reason uh, from the visa or stuff. And then um, you know that was my goal to be something else, like to represent, like proudly the, the, the country and all. But who knows? I want to be a cop. Yeah, that's for sure. Imagine me running against someone after all this background in MMA. It would be fine, but yeah. But for now, I just gotta focus. I can't be thinking about so many things to do. I gotta focus the, the top, whoever's in the top, cyborg, whatever. I don't care about the person, but I care about the belt. Well, I like, I like to hang out with my friends, that's for sure. I like to go out, you know, I like to have like a great time with my friends. Doesn't matter where, it matters to whom you, you're with. So, um, I like to go out with them go to movies, do like light stuff, you know, and uh, have fun, go to the beach, paddleboard, stuff like that. Well, I just want to thank everybody and all the sponsors, they, they help us a lot, you know, my sponsors, and um, I want to thank all the, the people that support, like fans, I have, I have no words for you guys, you know, I just... Um, I'm gonna fight now and then I just want you guys to go there and check it because make sure that whenever I go to the cage, it can take some time between them, but whenever I go to the cage, I step there, it's to make a perfect show, it's to make something different. I don't want to be just one more among the girls, I want to be the difference. So I always say that and then I want to good. I want to put, put up on a good show and that's it. I just want you guys to go check it because it's gonna be amazing. Once again. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for speaking with us today, Stephanie. Thank you so much. That's my job. That's what I love doing. I do it from my heart, so it that's what that comes. So that's it. I'm happy. Awesome.